calling in response to that offensive, uninformed political statement that you people sent to me. Uh, I'm not interested in uh, de- dealing with you. That is the voice of the man responsible for paying nearly 70,000 survivors of PG&E wildfires. The you people he's refusing to talk to are the elected leaders of Butte County. That is the county where the campfire destroyed the town of Paradise along with Kunkau and Megalia. New tonight, the county is pushing for more transparency about what is happening to the victim's money. ABC 10's Brandon Riddiman is investigating. PG&E committed crimes, reckless arson and manslaughter, killing at least 84 people. Most of the tens of thousands who survived moved away, but not all. I don't like living like this, no. A lot of the PG&E crime victims who stayed in the Paradise area can only afford to camp, waiting for PG&E settlement money they were promised about two years ago. Terry Lindsay was counting on money from the PG&E Fire Victim Trust, but it didn't come. She missed rent on her trailer. I'm not going to have a place to live. I can live in my truck. By contrast, John Trotter, the retired judge who runs the Fire Victim Trust, makes 125000 bucks a month, according to trust documents. What he makes an hour is more than some of our impacted residents are making in a month. The Butte County Board of Supervisors sent Trotter a letter last month. It shared complaints about a lack of communication and minimal payments that have left some of the fire victims living on the streets. The former judge called back with this. I'm calling in response to that offensive, uninformed political statement that you people sent to me. Uh, I'm not interested in uh, dealing with you. But it wasn't just a statement. The letter asked six specific questions about money paid to victims and spent by the trust on overhead. If you really want to know anything about the trust, I would assume, like everybody else, you would call and ask rather than coming to uninformed, slanderous conclusions. When and if you get to that point, I'll talk to you. Well, the county sent the letter uh, and we got, you know, basically told to pound sand. In response to the voicemail, Butte County Supervisors voted to look more deeply at the trust. PG&E was allowed to pay half of what it owed victims as shares of PG&E stock, but the stock hasn't been worth what victims were told. Since January, the trust lost $207 million in value selling stock shares. PCG closed at less than $10 a share Tuesday, leaving victims $1.8 billion short on value. Meantime, the trust is spending millions. Victims are asking questions about how their money is being spent. Will Abrams survived the 2017 Tubbs fire in Sonoma County. He's frustrated the trust won't break down the $93 million of expenses it recently reported. He's asking the bankruptcy court to create a way for fire victims to make the trust answer their questions. Anytime individuals in a position of power are being so secretive, It should give everyone pause. Trustee Trotter has declined repeated requests for interviews, and the trust did not respond by our deadline for this story. Butte County's Board of Supervisors unanimously voted to push for more transparency. They want answers for the tens of thousands of people PG&E burned out. And the trustee for the fire victims did ask Governor Gavin Newsom and state lawmakers for help last year. So far, sadly, a solution has not been announced.